Tass and RIA Novosti report that Russian warships and submarines are monitoring the movements of U.S. and NATO ships in the eastern Mediterranean. The publications cite military and diplomatic sources. According to the publication sources, Russian forces are continuously monitoring, from a close distance, U.S. Navy and their NATO ally warships and submarines in the eastern Mediterranean. The ships have not left the logistics center in Tartus due to the expectations of a strike in Syria, the sources added. Ships dock at the base in Tartus to replenish reserves and complete repairs. After docking, they generally return to sea, the source from Ria Novosti reported. I want to remind you that the resupply and maintenance point in TARDIS is used by our naval task force in the Mediterranean Sea only for replenishment of reserves and minor repair works, he said. On April 11, Image Satellite International IC, reported that, based on satellite imagery, Russian naval forces had disappeared from TARDIS. He also noted that these ships were deployed at sea due to possible future strikes on Syria. The company said that only one Russian submarine remains in TARDIS. According to Issy, the ship's Admiral Grigorovich and Ropucha, as well as the cargo ship engineer Trubin, have left the port. On the same day that Issy reported the disappearance of the Russian ships, U.S. President Donald Trump published a tweet urging Russia to prepare for a missile attack on Syria by the West. The U.S. and its allies have threatened to strike Syria in response to Damascus' alleged use of chemical weapons against the city of Douma in early April. The World Health Organization, WHO, reported 43 deaths and 500 injuries indicating signs of toxic chemical poisoning. Moscow and Damascus deny any involvement in a possible chemical attack. On Friday, April 13, Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Igor Konashenkov said that evidence proving the use of chemical weapons was fabricated, and that videos showing physicians and injured persons were staged. Kanashenkov also said that, Great Britain participated in organizing the provocation in Eastern Gout. London has called Kanashenkov's statement, ludicrous. The British Foreign and Commonwealth Office said that Moscow is trying to, blame anyone, other than Syrian President Bashar el-Assad for what happened. White House spokeswoman Sarah Huckabee Sanders said that U.S. intelligence has not confirmed the Russian Defense Ministry spokesman statements, Russia, U.S. Navy, Syria, WHO, Trump, Assad comments.